Virgos, welcome to Thomas's Tarot page. You are watching your general reading for, for May 2022. Now, what we will do here, we will separate or divide the reading in, in, in sort of sections, a bit easier to understand then. What we will do is we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead, and then we go into your emotional core, see what needs to heal, or maybe there's love coming in, that sort of stuff, before we then go into your opportunities, opportunities as they present themselves to you, and that normally is about things that sustain you financially, right? So, and if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Virgos, you ready? Let's have a look then. With regards to your overall energy, you have the Jaguar. And the Jaguar is saying to you, you know, anything you want to do this month, have a little of a vantage point, right? Have a look at whether or not it is really, if you really feel it, that's probably the term, if you really feel it. Um, and also, you will do so much better with anything in uh, this month of May 2022, when you don't have to follow all that much. Anything where you are, as an individual, be allowed to act will be much better for you this month. <clears throat> Short and sweet for your overall energy for the month of May 2022 for the sign of Virgo. Please like, subscribe and share, by the way, because that allows me to grow the channel. Now, let's have a look at your emotional core. Let's see what we got for you there. Now, anything to do with love. So, let's explain it this way. I'm not getting in the month of May for the sign of Virgo a massive need for healing necessarily, right? Which means while you go through through healing and while it is important to go through healing, if that makes sense, um, you also have to extend while you go, while you're going through healing, that things take time. So if you chose tomorrow, um, I'm going to go for a treatment. I'm going to get my soul parts back. I'm going to have a soul retrieval, a, a sound healing thing. I have a past life regression to see what from the past affects my here and now. That's all perfect. And it really is good. But you automatically will go from these experiences or this experience into a 21-day healing response. And we used to call them healing crisis because they bloody feel like a crisis. <laughs> While nobody ever, nobody I know, I've, I've ever known, really felt um, super affected by anything that happens to them for 21 days. It takes 21 days to actually, you know, implement a new habit, so to speak, right? So, in other words, you have the Wolverine and the Canada goes. And the Wolverine is saying, I'm still evolving, I'm still developing. And right now I'm just I'm just going higher on that tree, <laughs> right? Um, but I'm still evolving. And as humans, as beings, we're, we're never really fully stopping to evolve, right? So don't focus on things that trap you, so anything that is what I'm getting here, anything that is super long term might not be the best thing to start in the month of May, Virgos. You have the Canada goes. So which means whatever you're going through right now will likely take quite some time before you really feel, yeah, I can do that, right? So just keep going. Go with the flow, take every day the way it comes, allow yourself to, to, to honor and feel all, all everything you feel. But also, the more lighthearted you can be, the better this is, right? So you can wake up in the morning and go like, oh, this is a bunch of crap, right? You can say like, okay, now how about a cuppa and a piece of cake? I know it's not a healthy for breakfast, but I'm having it anyway. And then you can look at what isn't working, right? If that makes sense. So that's sort of the thing that they give me here. Um, for you, right? So again, this is um, yeah, this is this is um interesting because this is sort of your emotional stuff here. Um, so I don't think that there is a lot of love coming in, right? If that makes sense. Okay. So anyway, now we're going into your um opportunities as they present themselves in the months of May. Sorry for stopping here. My, my feeling is that there is some messages here lost 
in translation. It's almost like as if they just stopped. Um, so I, I believe there's more to your emotional core here, but I but when you haven't got when I, I when all of a sudden they stop giving me messages and therefore for me to give you messages, then oftentimes they're asking you to go into your trust because your intuition never lies to you. Okay, so that's all I got with regards to to anything uh, that happens to your emotions. And now we will have a look at your opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of May. Now you have the opossum for this, right? You have the opossum. And the opossum is saying, you see the world exactly the way it is, right? You can figure out whether or not this opportunity actually really makes sense or this may be too good to be true. Okay? Wow. One liners, guys. What's going on, right? Very little comes through for Virgos, but it is done deliberately. This is all about you understanding. Unless you look into at, or into your and at your intuition and learn to honor what you 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 already know, right? Your inner wisdom. Um, that's what I really want you to do this month because that is by far the least the guys have ever talked. Okay, Virgos. That's that. See you next month.